In the end, the Huskies were just too much for the Boilermakers to handle, winning 75-60, and becoming the first team to win back-to-back -back men's NCAA tournament titles since Florida in 2006-07. UConn ended the first half with its biggest lead of the game, six points, as 7'2 center Donovan Klingon battled with Purdue's 7'4 Zach Eady. But in the second half, Purdue couldn't hold on, slipping farther behind despite Eady's best efforts of 37 points and 10 rebounds. Tristan Newton led the Huskies' offense with 20 points. Coach Dawn Staley's post-game tears after Saturday night's 87-75 victory showed how deep her emotions run with this team, and we got misty, too. Miami Herald columnist Greg Coat explains we have a lot more to look forward to, what Coach Dawn Staley has built is awesome. South Carolina is the new dynasty in women's hoops and will be for a good while or as long as Staley is there. Charlotte Observer columnist Scott Fowler suggested the Charlotte Hornets should look at Staley for their open coaching position. They may not be interviewing Staley, but the Hornets just might hire the NBA's first female head coach. Without a doubt, South Carolina's 38-0 season plus Caitlin Clark's mind-blowing talent made for great competition and eye-popping entertainment. The key audience stat Saturday, 18.7 million viewers, the women's title game was the most watched women's basketball game of all time. Stay with us as Scorecard resumes weekly delivery on Thursdays. Next up, the PGA Tournament, the WNBA Draft, and NFL Draft Previews, and the top headlines in sports.